Good day everyone. My name is Derek Saldua from BSMT1 YB 3. I'm here to discuss the theory of the earth magnetism and its relation to the ship division. Unlike Mercury, Venus, and Mars, Earth is surrounded by an immense magnetic field called the magnetosphere. Earth magnetic field is also referred to as the geomagnetic field. The Earth magnetic field extends millions of kilometers into outer space and looks very much like a bar magnet. The Earth's south magnetic pole is actually near the North Pole and magnetic North Pole is in Antarctica. This is why a compass magnet North Pole actually point north. The Earth magnetic field extends for far and wide but is very weak in terms in field strength. A mere 40,000 nt com compared to a refrigerator magnet which is, is a strength of 10. It's required by the hard iron in the ship when it's built, heading in a constant direction in the yard. Continuous heating, hammering, bending, and welding causes the HI molecules to align themselves in the direction of the earth. Magnetic field at the location thus acquiring permanent magnetism. In addition to its permanent magnetism, a ship acquires induced magnetism when placed in the earth magnetic field. The magnetism induced in any given piece of soap iron is a function of the field intensity. The alignment of the soap iron in the field and the physical properties and dimension of the iron. Variation is a magnetic interference common to all vessels. Division is a magnetic interference unique to, to the vessel itself. We use the term division used to describe the effect of interference from magnetic field created by the vessel on equipment. The needle in a compass is magnetized and freely suspended and it aligns itself with the earth magnetic field. The difference between true north and magnetic north is known as variation. It's measured in degrees and minutes and it's shown on your chart in the compass rows.